By the mid-21st century, some futurists say death will feel less like destiny and more like a software setting. Ray Kurzweil envisions a 2029 singularity, then, by 2045, seamless brain-machine interfaces, cloud-backed minds, and swarms of medical nanobots, an upgrade path to practical immortality, and a hive of human AI intelligence. Ian Pearson pushes the vision further. By 2050, wealthy early adopters might hop between repaired bodies, synthetic shells, or uploaded selves, with cures for cancer and heart disease arriving en route. Aubrey de Grey argues aging itself will be treated like a disease, managed, reversed, deferred. But techno-optimism has critics. Technology can't, by itself, fix poverty, politics, or the environment. Its spoils often flow first to those already holding power. Even Pearson concedes longevity may debut as a luxury before trickling down. And there are stranger unknowns. If lives stretch for centuries, do urgency and meaning thin out or deepen? De Grey thinks purpose isn't pegged to a ticking clock. After all, teens don't hustle because they expect to die soon. Maybe practical immortality won't arrive on schedule or won't feel like salvation when it does. Yet the wager remains the same. That code, chips, and cells can rewrite the one story humans have never been able to edit.